put the work in. Hey, put the work in. Put the work in. Yeah. My name is Jordan Clark, and I like to save walls from being boring. Two years ago, I started a company called 91 Designs. We're professional graffiti artists that have taken spray paint to a new level. As a kid, I never believed I could make art full time. Growing up, I was always told, you know, artists don't make it. Art's a good side gig. You need to do something else. So before I started painting murals, I worked in the engineering world. Two years ago, I had some really life-changing events happen, and one of which was I found out I had a tumor the size of a hockey puck in my face. So in order to remove my tumor, it was a 12-hour surgery done by two surgeons full-time. When I went to the doctor, it was like you could wake up and be on a feeding tube the rest of your life. You could wake up and have to be on a breathing apparatus and not be able to swallow or breathe. There was a huge relief when I found out that it wasn't cancerous because the rate of survival, if it was cancerous, was basically zero. So after I went through all of this in the healing with the tumor, it, it just really shifted my perspective on what was important in life. I took a really strong look at my happiness and realized that it was a lot more important to me to be happy in what I do every day than what it was to just be out there making money. That change in perspective, it gave me the courage to push through to become a professional artist. Each mural we paint usually has a story behind it that the owner wants to tell. Yeah. It should be done by the end of the week. Hopefully. Okay. Tonight we're doing the projection. We work a lot at night, um, so we project the image onto the wall so that we can get all the line work done. <laughs> one of the number one tools that saves time is this projector. Skills. One of our projects is a mural for a local business called Esquire RV. If we want, we can just go and put a bunch of little small plate marks. All right, good. What they want is a mural that reflects the business that they are, which is selling campers and recreational vehicles. This mural is a visualization of the fun things that you can do around our town. We've got a problem. Them? Yes. Our mural's half the size of what it's supposed to be. <laughs> oh. Yeah. A big problem. Uh, Wait, are you being serious? Yes. Oh, he's being serious. I'm being serious. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's hard to tell. Grant caught it. <laughs> so, somewhere along the lines, we designed it short. Starting out a new mural artist company, there's been a huge learning curve. Did you see how satisfying that was? It all came off in one, you guys. For now, we'll finish this up and then we'll work on the design process again for the rest of the wall. And we'll come back when we get that done and finish the whole wall. I've seen our murals help local businesses by taking them from being just a standard uh, drab little building to make it a bright, colorful statement in the town. In many ways, these murals are a representation of bringing the downtown back to life. I feel like with the stories behind the art, um, people are able to get a glimpse of what our town is really about. With this explosion of art in this town, it's really helped spread the story of our town, of all the other things that this town has to offer than just the oil and gas industry. It takes a lot of courage to pursue a career in art because 
There's so many unknowns. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some basics really fast, and then I believe in learning on the job. So, so these cans are lower pressure, which allows you to have more control over what you spray. As a kid, I wish that I was told that it, I could make it happen. I go talk to kids about what it takes to be a full-time artist and to show them that they can. Some of the greatest inventors and artists of all time have came from small towns. I really see the local arts being a key component to the future of our community. Um, it, it brings a richness, it brings that additional level of uh, fulfillment in the community. I grew up in this town and I'm so proud of being able to have my art be a part of our story. I had to dream big to become a professional artist and now that I am, I'm excited to dream even bigger. This is our new space. Uh, we just got this shop and it's going to let us do murals in the winter. It's heated and ready to roll. Today we're starting a new mural in downtown Vernal for Cedar Bear. Um, it's 30 foot tall by 40 feet wide, which will be our tallest project to date. So in less than two years, we've gone from just myself out of my garage to having a full team of artists and designers and our own shop, plus a waiting list of murals to do. I never imagined my work could take off like this. I've become very grateful of the life I have.